it's it's what time is it? It's eleven twelve in the morning where I am. So it's before noon. I can still get away with being in my pajamas. Um, do what? That was last time. Oh. <laughs> um, what was I talking about? Oh yeah. In today's live stream, we will be. What are we doing? Hey, buttons. Uh, painting dragon eyes is a thing that we'll be doing today because I have got to get caught up on custom work. Hey, Bernie. Hey, Patty. Hey, Penny. Right. Hey, cupcakes. Well, good lord, everybody just beat me to it. <laughs> there you are, Randy. Randy's was Randy's moderating for me today. Um, <laughs> and he lo logged into the wrong live stream. Well, if hey, you hey. them differently. I did. This one's called Dragon Eye Painting and More mm -hmm. live stream. First off, I want to tell you guys about Patreon. I'm going to be doing a separate video specifically addressing this, but, um, <laughs> Cupcakes is like, haha, beat you. <laughs> yeah. Um, on Patreon, they were doing this thing where for like a week they decided that they were going to charge you as the patrons an additional, uh, the, fee. An additional fee. Um, we now were still gonna be hit with a fee. we were still going to be hit with a fee. Like we'd get like 90 some odd, what was it 95%? Something like that. I don't know. I, I am at their mercy. So I was just like, whatever. I mean, whatever they decide to do, I guess. Hey, Judy. Hey, Silver. Um, but it was a really crappy move. But it was a really crappy move because we pledged to quite a few different people and it became... That, like, instead of, like, doing 10 $1 pledges, we were suddenly, like, paying $18 in pledging. And we're, like, but good news, they redacted that. Takesy backsies. Um, and so that way, we don't have to worry about that at all. And I'll be doing a separate video to thank everyone for not bailing on me. Because, like... I think we got lucky in that we weren't one of the ones that were hit hard. But right. some people lost hundreds of patrons. Really? Because they it, were just, like making a statement it i kind of chalked up the loss in patrons that we've had this month to it being the holiday season and people want to spend that money on their families and stuff so it's like we have experienced a loss but i didn't really like be like oh it's because patron did this i was just like i guess it's because it's december it's december <laughs> um <laughs> hey eric Oh, I'm glad you made it to the live stream. Eric says, I'm never up this early. Hey, Patty and Dallas. Um, but yeah, I wanted to show you guys. This one already has dibsies on it. Hey, Nina in Sweden. <laughs> um, but a gentleman wanted a green and gold eye for his lady friend. Hey, Anne. Oh, it's been a while. But I really like this one. Judy says, how do you up it? How do you mean? Like, on Patreon? There should be... Uh, to Is that what you mean, Judy? I have no idea. I don't know. I'm still waking up, guys. Give me a minute. <laughs> like, I seriously, like, probably still have egg on my face from breakfast. Okay. To increase your pledge on Patreon, or to decrease it, or to postpone it, or to cancel it, or whatever you want, there, sh there should be on the Patreon page... Um, the video that's at the very top, you can click that and watch it. And I've actually screen captured the process of being able to go in and manage your Patreon account, but you should be able to like click and then like the little drop down and it'll say my pledges and you can click that and then you can click on, um, oh, Patty says, has it started? I can't see. You might, it can simply tell Patty to refresh the page, <laughs> but, um, well crap. Now I need to find some different glass cabochons. Because we are going to be painting eyes. Your mom started. What? What do you say? <laughs> I said your mom started. Your mom started. You're like, which, hey mom, if you're watching this, found out she watches my live stream sometimes, maybe? So that's pretty cool. Hey, Azmuth, come say hi to my mom. Or everybody else. Hey, mom. Look at my friend Azmuth. He's been living with us. Since Saturday. Since Saturday. And he's got his little mad scientist station set up behind me. Um, yeah, all the other stuff upstairs. we're going to have to make a spot for you. Mm -hmm. Probably in the living room. In front of the piano. I think that's a really good idea because we don't use that piano. Mm -hmm. But we're really, hey, woodworking is in the house. So Judy's like, hi, mom. What's up, my friends? Not a whole lot. We're going to be painting some eyes today. So I'm going to go ahead and get this turned around. Ah. Carrie says Patreon is charging a six fifteen for a $20 pledge. Fortunately, Carrie, That's they redacted changing. that, so it's changing. So hopefully, um, 
did it actually go through where they yeah. charged everybody yeah. that amount? Or okay, they were just like, hey, we're gonna do this. Yeah, and so many people. Fortunately, like, oh, yeah. I'm so glad that didn't happen because Patreon's been a godsend. Yeah. Like it truly has. The the cat gods of the internet were like, here's Patreon, and then they took it away from, <laughs> and then they were like, just kidding. <laughs> That's basically how it happened. Hmm. Just like the old gypsy woman said. <laughs> Buttons and Rubbish said that your mom commented on her painting of you. Really? Yeah. My mom did? Yeah. How'd you know it was my mom? Watching your channel. I have to go look at that. I, God, this is going to sound horrible, but I didn't know that my mom knew how to leave comments on videos. <laughs> so. <clears throat> oh, yeah. That reminds me. What? Uh, Valerie Lord says your P.O. box will be smelling good soon. Ooh, thanks, Valerie. Uh, Jacqueline says, and they take payments out on the 1st, right? Yes, they start processing on the 1st, and then I think they finish by the 5th. Or at least that's whenever we get the payments is on the 5th. Oh, mail opening. Should I paint eyes first? or Let me paint the pupils, and then we'll do a mail opening. Yeah, Asmuth came through and was like, this one. Can I have this one? It's the smallest. Can I have it? And I was like, so if anybody wants to send Asmuth stuff... You can send it to our same P.O. box. Um, hey, Sparkies. We were just getting started. I was thanking everybody same. for not Come abandoning in. ship whenever Patreon upped the pledge a bit. Jacqueline says, okay, so if I joined this month, then they not be charging extra fee in January. Correct. As far as we're aware. <laughs> that's, the, that's the information where we are functioning other. What does Azimuth have need of? What do you need? I'm a taxidermist. He's a taxidermist. So if so, you have so any dead animals you that you can so mail so us. Yeah, furs, bones, skulls. Furs, bones, skulls, word kills. Yeah. Don't fresh. Send, don't send don't. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Randy's no. like, please, God, don't send okay. us dead animals. Right now it's the holiday. So if you stuff a dead animal in a box, it'll take over a week to get here. And that's too long. But normally it'll only take a couple days and it's okay. Still don't. <laughs> <laughs> Whatever you guys like. If you like find snake skins or like cool like seeds out in the wood, um, you're going to be doing some cool little sculptures for giveaways, right? Mm -hmm. So, yeah, I've got a oh, I don't know. Spoil his surprise. Oh, sorry. No, spoilers. Kinda... It's going to be way better than that whenever it's still all wobbly and. I don't know, just send him that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> <laughs> but as, I'll see if I can find you some scrotum purses. Yeah, I really, I really like Penny, animal, you're the best. <laughs> animal bacula. What's bacula? What's the bacula? Penis bones. The penis yeah, bones? Yeah, the uh, raccoons. Penises and bones? bones? Yeah, do I have only if I have You one. never told me this. <laughs> Randy! I might have left it at home. Some, sign on it. Some the gentleman animals. never tells, lady. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, okay. Wait, they're called boners. <laughs> I don't know. I thought because they, they just wanted it to be like that. Anyways, oh. I digress. <laughs> oh, Lord. I don't have one. <laughs> Hey, Kristen, I bet that was something to come in on. Um, opossums have double-pronged penises? Yeah, echidnas have four. What's four. an archidna? Uh, an echidna. An echidna? It's, uh, down in Australia, it's like their little porcupine. Right, they got, and it comes out all... Yeah, they got they got four heads. We're talking about penises. This isn't going to be... This wasn't, in the, be this wasn't in the video description at all. Like, <laughs> well, I'm sorry. Also, this one won't be monetized. So oh, yeah. Point. Well, YouTube's been demonetizing every single live stream that we've done. I've had to go through manually, like, two days after, whenever they're like, oh, yeah, we're not monetizing this, and, like, beg them. A Cthulhu Dom. Sinister. <laughs> I know. I'd be upset too, Luke. Um, okay, things got weird fast. They do, Eric. <clears throat> so I'm going to paint some dragon eyes. And I'm going to turn the camera around because this is awkward. <laughs> Gypsy said, I just spilled tea all over my screen from laughing. What is actually happening, says River. <laughs> We're painting dragon eyes. This is happening. What does it sound like happening? <laughs> what does it sound like? <laughs> it's a little early. For, yeah, Angela says, we're not, is not expecting an X-rated show today. I'm so sorry, you guys. Well, the good news is it is Thursday, and it is during school hours. Okay, so. yeah, but for folks with young children that just got... They should be in school. <laughs> ...a David Attenborough-style anatomy lesson. <laughs> so, it's educational. It is. But I don't want, you know, their parents to come home and be like, why is it a kidney have $50? And it's like... Oh, 
<laughs> Nita says, looks like I got I turned in just in time. More like D-rated. Ooh. <laughs> Painting dragon eyes just became a euphemist, right? <laughs> oh, I love you guys so much. Like, I'm super pleased about Azimuth moving in as well. He's really rounded out the house. Um, he's my favorite curmudgeon -y old man. Ooh, Azimuth has some snake vertebrae. But yeah, be sure to check out his channel. I'm going to do just a quick and messy one. You have a trio now, right? <laughs> Azimuth, Caitlin, is our newest roommate who is now living in our attic Hidden and thicket, backyard. Uh, yeah, here on YouTube, his channel name is Hidden Thicket. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, Azimuth definitely classes it up. Because <laughs> Sinister says Azimuth brings my kind of class to these live streams. Um, I actually have not had Azimuth cook for me yet. He made me a cup of coffee this morning, which was phenomenal. Um, kind of helps give Randy somebody to share the workload with, I think. Living in the backyard? No, he's actually living in the attic. Yeah, well, he sleeps in the attic, but he spends his days in the backyard. doing farmer things <laughs> man though oh boy that was a way to start the day off oh. I can get used to that though <laughs> how did that even start I have no idea oh uh, Penny asked what did I, what does Azimuth need <laughs> oh yeah and that's how yeah and and that's it just Slip gosh, I just messed this one up bad. Um, slippery slope from there. <laughs> Are you gonna do an unboxing or is you gonna do it later? I'm gonna get um the pupils painted on here if I can do them in a way that's not janky. Um and then I'm going to do an unboxing. Yeah, that looks pretty cool like it is. You like it? Well I just ruined it, so there. No, just leave it like it is. Like this? Yes. Mm -mm. If these weren't for custom pieces for people, oh, okay. They're custom. Fine. I don't want to get too creative whenever somebody already purchased it looking a different way. <laughs> I just started to watch your videos yesterday. Keep up the good work. Well, thanks, Keston. I have my kid doing slave labor shoveling snow. He's not happy. <laughs> well, the good news is that whenever he becomes an adult and has children, he can make them do slave labor and keep the, keep the circle of life going. It's the yes, circle of life. What would Eric say? So is Randy your husband, boyfriend, platonic roommate? Yes. <laughs> Randy is all of my things. He is my favorite. Good gravy, Vaughn. Get your life together. <clears throat> the coffee is still cooking in. How old is Eminem? He's older than we are, isn't he? Okay. Wait, I just read Eminem. <laughs> Eminem like the candy or the musician? That's why it was messing up so much. Look at that clump of dog fur oh, nice. that was in. Nice this really, really complicates everything. Can you use self-hardening clay with the art doll faces? I know you can use Palmer clay and non-hardening clay. Oh. And I didn't change my address on eBay. So oh, when I ordered my domestic no. beetles, they tried to go to my house, so I just last night oh, I had to intercept no. it and bring it here. <laughs> hey, Asmith, <laughs> you've worked with air dry clay, right? Yes, I love Could you use clay. that with um, silicone push molds? No. Asmith well, says no. <laughs> Why not? Well, you can. <laughs> you can? But it doesn't dry very well. Mm -hmm. uh, it'll take longer because I can't get to the other side. So are they What if you in? just smush it in there and then take it out? Oh, then yeah. yeah. What would you use as repel to keep it from sticking in the mold? Water. Just water? Yeah. Okay. It might muddy up. Well, don't put too much water because it might muddy up the clay on the inside. Because gotcha. Would cornstarch or something work or baby powder as a repel? It might. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, to answer your question, the self-hardening clay, like the air dry clay, um, you can use with the silicone modes. Oh, you know what? I know what you're talking about. Huh? What? Wait. No. Well, Randy just said, holy crap, I need a poly polymer clay can of creamed corn for my action figure. <laughs> 
because the doll of him is now an action figure oh, yes. because Randy doesn't keep <laughs> dolls. Yep. That's right. <laughs> oh, Lord. Um, I thought that they were using the silicone molds um, that were uh, for, like, large... No, no, like, like so the like little polymer face clay ones. face ones. Oh, yeah. Those are fine, yeah. Okay. Yeah, I would still suggest taking them out if you can, but... As soon as you can. Yeah, uh, if you need to leave them in there to harden a bit so that they're a little more stable, you can mm -hmm. do that. Depending okay. Depending on how wet your clay is, really. Okay. And you can also work in layers, so work... Uh, Ooh, your that's Pella. a good idea. I guess you can either try water at cornstarch. Is actually you might be able idea. to also put a layer of like cellophane, like plastic wrap, and then just smush that. It would mark the clay. Bernie, that's Bernie true if it wrinkled. Please your nose. Do what? Please blow your nose. Oh, Bernie said that? No. Who? Birdie. Who's Birdie? Birdie. Birdie, I can't help it. I live in a house with humans and three cats and three dogs, and I'm allergic to everything. This is me after allergy medicine, so, oh, I'm not going to do that. Oh, no, I was going to just lean in and go, <laughs> <laughs> that's for you, Birdie. <laughs> Which I guess I did anyways. Yeah, anyway, put your repel on. Put a, a thin layer inside so you get all of the details and then smack on the back of it and let it harden maybe overnight. Right on. And then you can pull it out. Or if it comes out easily without distorting, just pull it out. That sounds pretty I, good. I don't know what kind of air dry clay they have. So. Right on. Oh. Hey, Randy, have you been doing... Uh, <laughs> Birdie said, okay, sorry. Sorry, Birdie. Honestly, I thought you were trolling because sometimes people will come through and troll me. Uh, Cupcake says, Asmuth's voice kind of sounds like a character from a cartoon, but I can't think of who it is. I think Asmuth would be a phenomenal voice actor. I'm just saying, you guys. What kind of character? Are they cool character? Are they, are they shitty? Are they, <laughs> are they shitty? <laughs> I mean, it's all right. I, I really enjoy a good villain. Yeah. Well, I mean, if, shitty doesn't mean villains. Okay, I'm going to flip the camera around. Who does Boop. Uh, I said my voice sounds like... Sounds like Yosemite something. Sam? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Just to put a face to the voice. <laughs> He's so Yosemite Sam. I'm just oh, yeah. saying. Oh, yeah. Hey, Aaron. Aaron says, love your dragon eyes. I'm always happy to see you making more. I will also work on the canned corn, Randy. I have. I will have my setup done soon. Oh, Lord. <laughs> You're going to end up with, like, a pallet so of miniature corn. canned corn. <laughs> so which would be super cool. We could just have it everywhere in the yeah. house. Oh, a troll is someone who comes through on the internet and purposefully says mean or silly things to try to get rises out of people. I think. That's what I consider a troll. How old is he? He looks about 16. Well, he's about 30. Somewhere. Azmuth is in his mid-30s, um, but he's, like, super healthy and, like, hikes, like, eight miles a day um, in, in, the like, summer. in the summer and then hibernates through the winter. Um Kimberly asks, how do you go on to do live streaming to show things like you're doing? Um, I think what, you have to have like 50 subscribers before yeah, you can I live stream. Yeah, you might be asking about your physical equipment. Oh, um, I'm just using my phone. Um, I go through and, well actually I'm using Randy's phone. I can show you on this one. Uh, we're not doing that again. <laughs> oh, are we not? No. Well, they actually changed it since last time. On yours. So, so for me, I've got a YouTube app and then I click it like that. Let me see if I can make the brightness go down way bunches. Oh, that's too much. Ooh, oh, I don't have to use toilet paper on my face Aww, anymore. What about the offensive? I know. Paper? If it's good enough for my butt, it's good enough for my face. So here you can see it's got this little icon right there. Boop. And you click it. Maybe. What did I just? Oh, and it pops up at the bottom now. And you can do video, live, or post. I haven't done any posts yet. Oh, no. Hey, Asmuth, Sinister says you made a taxidermy of yourself all Dorian Gray-like, and that's why you still look so young. Everybody thinks you look 16, which you basically do, I'm just basically. saying. Like, you're an awkward 16-year-old boy, because he's going to eat your meat. Um, okay. Um, but, uh, yeah, you made a, a taxidermy that you can't show anyone, and you'll be forever well, unaging. I mean, he can show other people, he just can't look at it. Oh, Yeah. I want to see it. figured out my secret. I know. God, Spoilers. Can't okay. have anything nice. So can't have anything nice. Um, but no, it's, and then, and then you would just click live and then it pops up and you put in a description, but I'm not going to go, uh, live streaming right now because I'm already doing it, but no. Yeah. He's like 34. Are you 34? What? How old are you actually? 
31. My bad. Sorry. I thought you were like 70. No. Well, I mean, <laughs> I am, but that's an, that's an elf years. It's an elf years. Okay. I'm in the middle of making a tiny hookah for a keychain. I'm trying to make a 3D silicone mold from it so that I can make resin copies. Do you know how to make a 3D mold? Okay, I've never personally made one, but I'm like right on the cusp of getting into it. So the way I understand it is you would do a thing, like make a box, uh, slightly, like if I'm making a 3D mold of this, I would make a box that I could fit this into. And then I would fill it up halfway with mold, like with the silicone, and then I'd let it harden. And then do you put little nubbies on it? Then I don't know. Look it up on YouTube. <laughs> I, I don't know what I'm doing. I do also need to blow my nose real quick, though. Excuse me. Oh, so much better. Okay, so now mail time. My allergies today, though. Why am I sneezing so much, Randy? Uh, oh, the new kitty? Which new kitty? We have two new kitties. One of them is Haru, uh, and the other one is Chi Chi. You fill the mold box halfway with clay, pour the top half, let set. There you go, Sylvester's got this. I forgot the clay part. I was like, don't you sculpt something at some point? What? Um, <laughs> do I? What? what? Are we talking about, were you talking to me? I don't know. Okay. I'm yelling at the camera box. Yeah. Flip it over and pour the other half after removing clay. Yep. There you go. <laughs> Make sure you index your mold. Index your mold. Uh, That's putting the little nubbies in it. Any more to know who's the nice lady that keeps sending all the smell good mail? The nice lady who keeps sending all the smell good mail is Valerie with the Enchanted Oak, and it is the best smell good mail. Um, sneezing because house is closed up and winter keeps germs in. That makes sense. I should have opened the windows yesterday. It was warm enough. Okay, this one is from... Quiet Artist Creations, Christina, with Quiet Artist Creations. Mine? This is the one that Azmuth <laughs> wanted, but it's mine because I'm greedy. Can I use your scissors, Randy? Oh, <sighs> scissors. Here, have these scissors I'm, so I can bribe you. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Wait, that's an option? Oh, I am always up yeah, for bribing. For 10 years now, you never knew that? So, Valerie, they can tell you your mail yeah. arrives. All the post employees are gathered around their P.O. box sniffing hard. Kristen says, I have the Crayola Air Dry Clay and the Air Dry Clay from Walmart and the Act Active Plus Self Hardening Clay and the Non Hardening Clay and the Polymer. It sounds like you have all the clay. I will check, Kaz. I actually haven't checked the names on any of the packages because I like it to be a complete surprise. Um, you can read on air if you like. Hey, Yvonne and Randy. I got your package the other day and thought I would send you some of the items I work with. Right on. The micro beads are glass and can be used with clay. Ooh, I don't want spoilers. Oh, oh well. Um, and can be used with clay or resin. It can be baked with your clay. These are just five of the 40 colors I use. Um, <laughs> the keys are very sturdy, except the one that's kind of flimsy. I have several, and I'm worried about selling them to customers. Maybe you can figure something out. I'll definitely take a look at that for you. The shell beads I use for jewelry and sculptures. They can also be baked with clay. Again, thanks for the supplies. The package arrived a little banged up. I hope your package arrives in better shape. Christina, Quiet Artist Creations in Washington. Okay. <clears throat> so, yeah, it's I, I always try to um, package them really well, but I think I need to put in more padding. So I'm always open to feedback from my patrons and from people who buy stuff about if you're like, Dude, just put in some more bubble wrap. Then just let me know. Ooh, I get to open the goodies now, though. And you don't get to see it because it's off camera. Okay. <clears throat> so I'm going to show you guys her business card. Hey, and not too much. We just started opening mail, and I got the irises to some uh, eyes painted. Ooh, quiet artist creations. So I'm going to boop. Shameless plug of people who send me things. This, this is a beautiful, well laid out business card, by the way. Like, it's hard to design a good business card. This is a good. Everyone send Vaughn bags of packing peanuts. No kidding. <laughs> it's only awkward, Aaron, if you make it awkward. Ooh, oh, that's mine. I was like, oh. <laughs> so I dumped it out on my work surface. And this was in there, and I was like, this is just like mine! <laughs> it's because it is mine. Just saying. 
<laughs> oh, look at these. Okay, so these are the keys. <laughs> oh, I'm going to check and see if they're flimsy, though. They seem pretty sturdy, but that's in the packaging. Oh, and they just came out the side. Um, I imagine this one might be the one that she was referring to as flimsy because the other two are quite sturdy. The only difference is that this one's a little flatter. So <laughs> get the girls some more coffee. Actually, also, have, have y'all met my new coffee mug? This is the bigger of the two. Um, it's too big to fit into my Keurig, but it's by Skinner Pottery. I just show you his little thing, but I dump coffee everywhere because I'm not going to do that. But I love the way he does the glazes. And it's super lightweight for being a giant a local. Clug mug, clay mug. And it's local, yeah. I love, I love mugs. Sorry if I don't respond. I'm working as well right now. No worries, Valerie. <laughs> but yeah, I would still sell this. I would just let people know to not take it and wrench it in half. But it also, if you feel like it's not very secure, you could totally do some wire wrapping around it. Make it, you know, that way if it does break, it's still all held together. But I think it would hold up just fine. Clug mug. Oh, these are beautiful, though. Actually, and very mug. they sent little cabochons, little glass cabochons um, for putting into the thing. So I might do a giveaway on some eye painted Ooh. or hand painted eye keys. So Ooh, micro beads. These are beautiful. Oh, Randy, these oh. colors. Hey, can I tell you an idea I just had? Um, for I need to make my own. Oh, Azmuth is on the phone, and I'm just in here yelling. Um, I'm gonna be making a cosplay, and I can incorporate these in with the translucent clay to make it look. Oh, that's gonna be so pretty. Where would a person even get micro beads? But look at they're so super tiny. Oh, I love the way the squish feels. Jeez. Mm. Do you want to squish a bag? No. Oh. I was going to share the joy with you. <gasps> oh, look at these. The little natural dyed shell chip beads. Well, happy early birthday, Kristen. Um, These are for mixing in among many things. I'm sure you can use whatever you want with them. But I would put these in little fairy bottles. I would mix them in with translucent um, polymer clay. But... Oh, yeah. Yeah, you lost me to the squish. Oh, my gosh, though. Oh, if we could have a bean bag full of this. Mm. Like, just like a giant bed chair full of... It loses something, though, on the face. It's better on the fingers. Okay, I'll stop. Okay, um, you can take those microbeads and make little, like, sand paintings in the cab form and then pour resin over them. That'd be cool. Um, Judy, I don't know if it's like glass glitter because they seem super round, like super soft. What? And she's rubbing stuff on her face again. <laughs> Y'all know me. And then look at this beautiful banded, possibly agate. Ooh, it's a, is it a bead? Oh, well, that's good to know, I guess. What a? Uh, Amazon is no longer taking Discover card from Canada. Really? Why is everybody got changing things always? Mm -hmm. <laughs> but that's beautiful. I really like that color. Only like they do it in December, you know, the busiest. <laughs> Clear and iridescent place. ones look great in fairy ponds as bubbles. Oh, that's a good idea, Ben. Y'all are so creative. Like, that's why I love hanging out with you guys, is you have, if it's not being tasted, it's being rubbed. Like, mm -hmm. I never really outgrew that, like, uh, toddler phase of interacting with my environment, where if I'm not rubbing myself on it like a cat, I'm sticking it in my mouth. <laughs> So, I, I'm gonna holler at her when she's not, or when he's not on the phone, and but uh, Anne says, Asmuth, come clean my house. <laughs> Has to lick everything, right? <laughs> but Randy, you could probably tell an interesting story about when we first started dating and that present that you got me. No, the picture frame. Yeah, the socks. Yeah. <laughs> Do you wanna come over here and see? Yeah. And then this one is from. Bangkok, Thailand. I'm suspicious it's from Secret Santa, who has been, like, Secret Santa has been super generous this year. <laughs> Jacqueline says, I'm it's weird. We're all weird here. It's okay. <laughs> what you say? Oh, I'm waiting on a call, and I got 
four bars in there, or five bars in there, and two bars in here. <sighs> Anne wants you to come clean her house. Uh, what's in it for me? He <laughs> says, what's in it for me? Will you feed him? <laughs> okay, so it's wrapped up. This is how I need to mail things. Super wrapped and... Is it edible? <gasps> it's glitter. Look at that purple. It's actually different textures, like different grits of similar colors of glitter. Ooh. Looks like two of one kind and two of another. Ooh. Okay, I actually have a whole glitter drawer now. Okay. And now we have from Michelle. River asked, did Vaughn get my box? I'm just curious. Uh, let me see. Yep. I got your box, River. I'll open it next after this one from Michelle that I already pulled out. Ooh, and here we be. It's actually a goal of mine to go to Hawaii one day. I want to go and I want to hike. So seeing these pictures and it looks beautiful. And I want to splash around in the ocean. Oh, it's a super cute box. Nothing wrong with being weird, Angela, but a unicorn it sounds hard to look at things with that horn getting in the way. <laughs> My mom put her name on it, was like, Mom, no, so I aggressively crossed her name off. Because we're all adults here, too, for the most part. It's like, no, Mom. <laughs> Uh, my best friend's mom posted to Facebook earlier today um, a gif of, like, uh, the chick who's Jessica Jones rolling her eyes, like, super hard. Um, and the text on it was, when you're 30 and your mom still ties to tell you what to do. <laughs> and she was like, I don't know anybody who does this. And I'm like, that looks a lot like Lara. <laughs> I can see Lara doing that. <laughs> but it's, a mom never stops being a mom, so. But here's the box. And I opened it. Ooh! Cute little wrapping paper. There's a card. I shall read it. Hey, Vaughn and everyone. Nice to see you. Hey, Water Lily. <laughs> Christmas card. I'm in my 40s and mine still tries. Oh. Aw. P.S. Hope you and Randy are feeling better. You inspired me to keep up my crafting and start a small business. Go River. Hi, Vaughn and Randy. I think what you guys do is amazing. I love watching your videos, and it's like we are there when you do live streams. Because you guys are here. Be oh, the I was like, where are you reading that? <laughs> <laughs> you are a beautiful person inside and out. I don't know if you really know how much your followers truly care and love you guys. Hope your holidays are filled with joy. These gifts are just a small token of my appreciation of what you guys mean to me. And thank you. From Michelle. Thank you, Michelle. Randy, can you put this with the other Christmas card? Just hold on to it for me. He's over there blowing his nose like, what? <laughs> Thank you, guys. But no, I feel super lucky. Oh, thank you. That y'all are as awesome as you are because y'all inspire me so much. And that's a really nice box. I'm going to open it. <gasps> Metal Earth 3D Metal model kits, Harry Potter, oh, yeah. oh, Randy, <laughs> it's a, a dragon, Gringotts dragon, 3D oh. model, metal, Mada, I've, is yeah, it like Mada. a puzzle, I've never used this before, is it like a Gundam, and you put it together all Sergeant Frog style, it's metal, I'm touching it, oh. Ooh, it's got little pieces, we'll have to do a stream of, or a video of Randy, <gasps> oh, of Randy and I putting that together. Um, oh, ooh, what's this? Incense? Eee! Ooh, ooh, which color should I burn, you guys? <laughs> I sniffed too hard and got dust up my nose. <laughs> or there's incense. Uh huh. Okay. A super cute little dish. Do the blue ones. <gasps> what's this? It's a picture frame. How do I open it? And not just a picture frame. Uh, they're all saying open the blue one. Is that what you said? Yeah. So okay. And then apparently they all agreed. What's it's that? a peacock picture frame. Ah, oh. because uh, I'm a kind of how you like peacocks. I love the peacocks. Look at that butt. Mm. Randy. 
Oh, well, you can see it if I show it like this. Look at that. We're going to yeah, have to get I it. I have to view everything. <laughs> We're going to have to get a picture to put into the picture frame. I should just buy like, a picture of Cam's corn. <laughs> that picture, Randy had a giant, like, Sam's Club size thing of creamy corn, and he was holding it like. You don't still have it. I still you? have it in my phone. I'm going to save that. That's like. One day when we're old and we have like our 50 year anniversary, that's going to be in the picture scroll of like all the good times that we've had. All the good times. All the good times. Oh, what a good can of corn. Oh, what a good can of corn. Sorry, I normally don't like to dig through my phone. Water Lily says, I saw a tutorial on metal clays a couple of months ago and didn't know about them before either. I'd love to get to work with metal clays. Okay, now I just have to, oh, there it is. Look at my boo. He's so cute, but there's something wrong with us. <laughs> well, okay, so it's just kernel corn, but isn't he sweet? Like that could, they that would look cute they in they a little. A giant thing of cream. Yeah. <laughs> Penny. <laughs> well, I think the metal clay can either turn into silver or they have some bronze ones. Um, if my crystals come out, I will mail you some. Do you like candles, Vaughn? I love candles. <laughs> but I'm really bad about, I'll get a candle, and then, like, I'll never burn it. Because, like, I'm like, I just want to look at it. And it's, like, a special candle. Like, I'm still burning on candles that I've had since high school. Because I'm like, oh, I love the color. <laughs> okay. Next is Rivers. Hurry. Randy, put the pic of your nose bush in that frame, the Snapchat one. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> like there's people who have like professionally done oh I opened the bottom. Um professionally done family pictures and then we have like uh framed pictures of Snapchat <laughs> Snapchat ones. <laughs> okay, so I opened it up upside Ooh. Corset lacing on the hat. How do I put it on? I, I need it on my head. I think you have it on backwards. Do I? Do I put it over my bun? Yeah. Or off to the side? Ooh, I like it off to the side. I was going to tie it under my chin like a dork. Um, I might have to put the, a headband or something. Or some hair combs. Oh shit! Look at Randy. Might be a bit heavy. I feel super fancy right this minute. You feel penny dreadful fancy? Yeah. I'm gonna have to build a cosplayer around this, y'all. No, you need to do the cosplay. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Oh my god, though. And I gotta look at it. Oh, all the detail. It looks like one of the little pieces came off. Ooh, a little cut. But yeah, just a little spot. I'll hot glue that back on there for you. But other than that, it looks completely intact. God, that corset lacing, though, that you did. River, look at what you did. <laughs> well, I mean, you made it, so you saw it. But holy crap. Look at what you did. Look at what you did. <laughs> this is so cool. And the feathers, I actually have, I kid you not, these same feathers as earrings. So I already have two out of the 70 accessories for a costume. Spent a fortune on the whole. Oops. And it's very durable. Um, but yeah, I'll hot glue this little piece back on. Oh man, though. And then she's got the coiled wire and the little, in the, in the ribbons. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, it's going onto the bun, actually. So I'm going to look kind of silly. I'm real tight, real tight. <laughs> How not to wear a steampunk hat. <laughs> Sorry, I'll, I'll do it behind my head. That way I don't look like it's a bonnet tied under my double chin. Maybe over a side bun? Maybe over a side bun? Maybe. I just gotta. Might need to use like 50 bobby pins. <laughs> yeah, like 50 bobby pins. Uh, oh, Spiro. Bucks. 
Firo says, who needs family on Christmas when you have 53,000 followers? I can't fit you all in my living room, though. That's why we have to do it like this. Oh, well, now, oh. Wow. In the wings? Maybe some pepper clips. In the little, Maybe there's like a little, like a little light. And the, oh, do what, Randy? Maybe some paper clips, some big ones. I'm going to set this right some here. Dynamite. Some dynamite. <laughs> And there's a note on the bottom. Steampunk Taurus. They've decided. <laughs> Probably going to say something like, please do not put this on camera. <gasps> Guys! <laughs> wax seal and everything. It sure has to do with the hairstyle versus pins. Oh. Vaughn, I hope the tap pot top hat got to you intact you might need to use a lot of bobby pins i hope it's not too heavy to wear really really hope you enjoy it Vaughn, you have a lot of really cool talents thanks for inspiring me to start crafting again river thank you so much oh <laughs> thank you guys now all you need is a leather corset Ooh, you might make one actually I'll pull up a picture. I've got stuff to show you guys. I've been shopping on Amazon like a mad person. I haven't actually bought most of it, but I've been shopping. So I put together a Miss Frizzle costume, like a 1950s pinup Miss Frizzle. She can be super sexy. Um, <laughs> hey, Vaughn, what are your favorite flowers and colors? Um, peacock colors and uh, Asiatic lilies are my favorite, like super favorite flower. Um, like alien-sized... Have you seen the cow cow dresses? I haven't. Um, what was I gonna search? Ka corset. Not cow cow dress? What was the name of the corset company that I just bought my thing from? But I got a corset. No idea. And I keep sending links to all the stuff that I keep um <laughs> being like, hey Randy, I want this. Hey Randy, I want this. And he's like, Santa's only got so much money and so much room in his bag. And I'm like, hey, Santa, <laughs> Corset Story is who I bought it from. And it's so unlike me to um, purchase a corset as opposed to just make one. But I really need to frame a point of reference for doing overbust corsets. And they were very well reviewed. Some of my friends who are also plus size, like super curvaceous, um, tiggle bitties, uh, were like, yeah, they do really good corsets. So I was like, oh, okay. So, I've never been on their, um, waist training. No, where does it say overbust? The hat took me a couple days to make. I'm really, really? Oh, River, I love the hat. Thank you so much. I love Corset Story. I've gotten a few from them, says Brooke. Yeah, and it's, I wanted something that would hold up. And so, I got a long line overbust. Where are you at? It's not in brocade. Mm. Yep, that's the one that I got. I'm gonna hide the price because I don't want y'all to know. <laughs> it was it was like a hundred bucks, but that's the one that I'm gonna be wearing because I can do it as shapewear underneath some, and I'm gonna be wearing that underneath the Miss Frizzle dress. Yeah, River, it's if you get a biz, do you have? A, well, River said she started this. Somebody said they started a small business. Y'all can do this. I would shamelessly plug, be like, yeah, go buy your own hat here. We can all have a legion of steampunk hat wearing, hat costume party. making. Yeah. Do what? A hat, party. a hat party. Okay. But yeah, so that's the corset I'm going to be wearing. And then we've got one last one. And this is from Debbie in Michigan. And I'm opening it. Not what? just to you. Yvonne Williams and Randy. <laughs> written in as an Written in <laughs> underneath it. Like, I'm going to cover up their address and shit. <laughs> and Randy. <laughs> I feel like a sentient booger. Oh, poor Dante. <laughs> Love watching your tutorials. And not going into business, but love making gifts for family and friends. Most of my projects are in yarn and fabric, but I... <clears throat> been trying <laughs> some of the chainmail bracelets. Thank you. But I have been trying some of the chainmail bracelets. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Deborah. Oh, and it's so sparkly. 
he put this together. I'm excited to actually have a bunch of, hopefully a bunch of Christmas cards this year. Glitter. I'm hiding upstairs during Christmas. <laughs> Nuh-uh, we'll force you to come no. down and have fun. No. Yes, huh? No. Yes, huh? We'll be like, hey, Asbeth, here's a bunch of Did jars of alcohol for... Did... Okay. Like, you have to come down to open you, your presents, you curmudgeon the old man. If you bribe me. <laughs> if you bribe me, I have to bribe my friends to hang out with me for Christmas. Me with, uh, alcohol. Yeah, it's like, awesome. please come with, I'll get you eggnog. Ooh. Yeah? But was it alcoholic eggnog? Do you yeah, want it to be? I do. Want alcoholic to eggnog. See, that's that's the key to having friends. You just have to know how to bribe them to spend time with you. You have to get like, them drunk. <laughs> you have to get them drunk. We made Azmuth play Munchkin with us, and it was the most awesome game of Munchkin ever, because yeah, Zach and Lauren were there. Totally Azmuth was like, I don't like card games. I hate card games. It's stupid. He was I sitting there, and he was like, all but scowling. I was... Yeah. I was yeah, he was pretty drunk, and he was all, like, sleepy drunk. <laughs> so he was, he was like, scowling, like, and then we started getting him to smile and laugh, and he was like, no, I'm not gonna have fun. <laughs> it's like, fuck you, this is stupid, and then he won. And he was all like, yeah, I guess it was fun. <laughs> uh, Dante says, I feel like a sentient booger today. Oh, that's the worst. I'm still getting sneezy, and Randy's still coughing a bit, but for the most part... We're mostly humanoid again. Okay, let me clear off a little bit of space. Randy, we're gonna, I think you might have a lot of fun with this. We'll have to put it together, Ooh. together. It's interesting. It's super interesting. Thank you guys so much again. Dua? I said I have a soldering gun on the car. Ooh. Oh. Okay. Yeah, okay. you see? Yeah. It's like making a miniature wooden trebuchet, but it's a metal dragon. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to get this flipped. Oh, there's glitter all over everything now. Um, well, we're older than 14. Azmuth can't use it since he looks like he's 12, but... <laughs> yeah, well... He's like, stop talking about me. Oh, wow, moose so milk? Good. I never had moose milk. I would like to start a business, but I'm 16, so I don't know if I'm too young to make one. Never too young. Well, I don't know. I think you have to be old enough to have a PayPal account. I don't know. It's Is been a while business? since I was 16. But, um, no, you can... I think you if can... You're legally able to work, you can start a business. Yeah. If you can have a part-time job at, like, Taco Bell, then I don't see why you can't put yourself into business for yourself. For yourself. Yeah, you might have to be 18. Yeah, Anne says 18 for PayPal. But, um, like, if you have a good relationship with your parents and you're able to get them to help you set up a PayPal, uh... What the hell is even on? Yeah, that, like... Because that's where it gets complicated is if you don't have reliable adults in your life, um, then you can't really be, like... Like, if you can't trust them. But, uh, hopefully that's not the case and hopefully you'll be fine. Oh, now you tell me, help, how do I... What? <laughs> Live streaming, mm. streaking, just saying. You promised live stream. Well, you did just catch Asmuth fresh out of the shower, so. She specifically asked me not to come. Yeah, I did, because I was like, please don't. It's bad enough that I cuss all over her live streams. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> well, Randy, Randy puts clothes on for it, so. It oh, Canadian eggnog is called moose milk. Oh, is it? You start by crafting and then selling at craft fairs. That's true. And it, you're never too young to start honing your skills and your crafts. And because, yeah, just go for it. Like, I'm like, I wish I had followed all of my crazy ambitions when I was, you know, I didn't start pursuing any of this stuff until I was like 19 or 20. Um, and it's just like, because everything was so like school focused and like, just got to get good grades, got to do these things. And it's like, gotta go fast. Gotta go fast. <laughs> None of that stuff. And I can't, God, parents, please don't get mad at me. But I can't be like, none of the stuff that I used in school. Because most of the classes honestly were daycare. Um, daycare with busy work in high school. But aren't you glad you know how to... I don't even know. None of it stuck is the thing either. So it's not even like I really learned anything. Like you use trigonometry every day of your life. I use some trigonometry and geometry whenever I'm doing gardening, but I Google it to find the equations and stuff. <laughs> like, um... Math does not require you to memorize the formulas. It only requires right. you to know how to use them. So, right. you are still doing trigonometry. Doing the math. But no, and it's also, 
in high school math classes. I didn't, I wasn't clever enough to take the AP math classes, um, but the regular, like, that everybody took math classes, um, like middle ground math classes, was just teaching you how to punch it into the calculator. And I'm like, uh, follow your dreams, have fun, because that's the point. And if it involves math, by all means, please, do your math. Do your math. Do your math. No. <laughs> we always need people in the STEM field. And in particular, we need people who are teaching the STEM field. Yeah, good teachers. Because I the, agree, uh, Vaughn, about the math the classes now. Chased them out. Right? Okay. Back to painting eyes. And I need to do... Um... <laughs> Somebody had said, what state is Washington, D.C. in? And someone else replied, Maryland, you hick. <laughs> <laughs> Right. Be, love each other, you guys. Um, <laughs> want to tell you good morning after the doctors. Hey, Carol, good morning to you. Like DC fact, is a state. Like this Bye, is River. Oh, thanks so much for the hat and for hanging out. We're all hicks okay. here. Cool. And then this, is, this model may or has many sharp points, as simple with care. <laughs> okay, so it's I'm like, gonna scooch oh, these colors like, off to the what? side. Yeah, say, now, yeah, I do wanna show you guys, this is what I keep this is my... The that you are most likely to cut your wrist on. <laughs> <laughs> Slash wrist, I'm just crafting. Um, this is what I keep my, uh, God, about you, I know, but I just put I my, talking. I am talking. <laughs> uh, this is what I keep my, uh, nail polishes on. And so I'm going to do some blues. So that's a really nice blue. And I'm going to do... And as with everything is about me if I make it about me. Uh-huh. <laughs> that how it works? It's apparently. Oh. I'm going to use that one. I'll take your word for it. Yep. Hooey. I'm going to use that one. What's hooey, baby? I'm going to trade that one. far more... Looks super complicated? Yeah. We should probably do it while drinking then. On live stream. Yes. On live stream. On Next. Christmas day. On Christmas day. On Christmas day. <laughs> oh no. Oh, I really. This just sounds like a bad idea. <laughs> yeah, everything <laughs> sounds like. A... I'll, I'll observe. I'll be the. No, no. You, you gotta do it. Oh no. You gotta do it. Yeah, Sinister you, says, you "I'm currently working on my second doctorate degree, and honestly, I agree that high school was a waste." I'm the one with all mechanical. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> So it'll be like crafting with a turtle and a river otter. I'll just go through messing everything up. Brandy will sit quietly in the corner and we just get to watch Asbeth get angrily drunk. <laughs> <laughs> this sounds like the best Christmas ever. Is Luke outside? Is Luke outside? He is outside. Okay, so these are the colors that I'm going to be using. He just barking at the neighbors. I need something, a middle ground between these two. We can cosplay as a bunch of Krampuses. Yeah, I don't see anything wrong with this idea. Did you look at me? Sorry, I'm drawing. No, yeah, no, you're I fine. Really, you guys play a bunch of Krampuses, and you stared at me, and I felt your eyes. <laughs> My accusing eyes. <laughs> no, I'm just desperate for your attention, because I like watching you smile. I'm like, Senpai, notice me. Senpai, I said a joke. Are you laughing? <laughs> it takes a lot to get a look and a smile. <laughs> you're right. Okay, so we're coming in close. So now that the eyes have dried a bit, if you're not completely happy with um, the shape of the pupil after it's dried, you can actually come through and I'm going to be doing some smooth edged oh eyes. Oh my gosh. Hey Randy, since I'm going to be painting, can you, if anybody has any questions, yeah, yeah. can you keep me up to date on them? I will try. You are the best. Second only to Sam Dog. Because Sam Dog is the best. Okay, purple. Okay, purple. No, purple. Purple? Oh, uh, no, they said purple. Bracket purple. But yeah. Bracket purple. <laughs> I am sorry that I'm like snarfling my boogers up in y'all's ears. That's why I brought the tissues. I know, but it's like, it's just it's a slow little weird drip. Yeah, but you can still try. You can yeah, try. I'll try blowing my nose again. Thank you. <laughs> it's like, okay, Dad. It's not a problem, Vaughn. No, I'm self conscious of it. But... Oh, that did help. I'm going to snuffle up again. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. 
keep talking to you, but this phone keeps freezing up. Is a roommate seeing your new toy that you've got from us? I have not whipped out the airbrush to Azimuth yet, but I'm That's, super excited. I'm going to be using that airbrush. For your Turksidermy? For my Turksidermy. That'll be awesome. Yes, I am. I, I was thinking about that last night because I had hair slippage on one of my ears. Mm, oh, so you're going to put... So, how do you airbrush fur onto... Well, you use the... Uh, use the acrylic paint just like you would any other. Get away from it. Um, get dogs. <laughs> and you just airbrush it on, and then whenever it dries, you brush it off the hair, and it okay. just, like, sticks to the skin. Nice. Amy says they've got medical stuff happening soon, so oh, no. keep putting out more videos as you brighten the day. I'll be sure to do that, Amy. I hope everything goes well. The medical stuff. Okay, so you can see that really cleaned that one up. It's a little off center and it's driving me nuts. Do it. No. Well, it's it's more of a slow like and I don't want to get TMI about my boogers, but it's a slow drip like down the back from my sinuses. So it's not even necessarily in my nose. I'm just drowning. And I took an allergy pill, so maybe it'll get better. You took an allergy pill? your booger. Do what? Yeah, I took an allergy pill. Just don't put tampons up your nose. We might see swinging strings in the cam. Yeah. <clears throat> Super heavy. <laughs> Just dangling. <down. laughs> oh, no. Aaron says, I have my throat reconstructed, so I suffer the same thing for different reasons. Right on. Nobody talks about this part of, like, being almost 30 of, like, my knee hurts. My nose is just leaking always. I never had allergies. Yeah, post-nasal drip. That's the, yeah. Never had allergies as a kid. Like, I could, like, rub my face in animal fur and, like, like filthy dogs. I could just snuggle them. Nothing. And now it's like if I look at my dog, my eyes start to, like, burn and itch and I break out in a rash. You think oh, wait till you hit 60. I hope I make it to 60. I hope I get to complain every step of the way all the way to 60. I hope I get to be like 80 and then I'll just sit there on my front porch and just bitch all the time. I'll be so happy. <laughs> yeah, I need to get a different neti pot though. Preppy shrimps is yikes. <laughs> Ooh. What's the joke that you want me saying? Ooh, Anita says, I'll be there in 11 months. And says, I hope you do it on video. I'm going to be 90 and complaining into my live streams. Silver says, I'm 65 and loving it. That's awesome. Yeah, but by that point, live streams will be like an archaic form of internet. I don't know. Yeah, it's hope. Like listening to vinyl. Yeah, I'll, I'll be hipster. <laughs> hipster retro. Everyone will be doing holographic by then. Oh, and yeah. Just, like, That'd be sweet. just put salt water in a saucer and snort it. Word to the wise, don't use, like, large, chunky, like, fancy Himalayan sea salts for in your neti pots. The chunks get stuck. Pro tip. Pro tip. When you're 90, those... <laughs> Maybe by that time we could just teleport instead of live stream. Because that's the thing, is, like, as a kid, I never even considered, like, YouTube wasn't a thing. You know, whereas now it's like, you know, some of these, some of these young folks, um, running around <laughs> are like, I want to be a YouTuber when I grow up or I want to be a Vine star. And it's like, well, Vines are no longer a thing. well it, they're coming, the creator of Vine is coming out with something else. Gawker. What's Gawker? I don't know. Oh. <laughs> Whippersnappers. <laughs> oh, 60 hertz, Yvonne. That's why I'm up going to the doctors to get injections in my knees <laughs> and my finger that keeps cramping up from arthritis. Oh, well, thanks for hanging out with us, Carol. And good luck at the doctors. Where do you get the clear cabochons and what size would you recommend for a beginner? Don, I get all my clear cabochons from Amazon in any of my eye painting tutorials. And I'll probably put it down in the video description of this video um, after we finish live streaming. Um, but uh, yeah, I get the clear ones from Amazon. But in any of my tutorials, there'll be links down in the little description box below the video. Uh-oh, it says low battery. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Yeah, I could have told you charging off of that doesn't... It's a slow charge. Right. We're at 3%. I need a cord stat. Ah! 
Do we have another extension cord? I don't know. Sorry while I panic and try to plug the phone in before it dies. How is that not the right way to plug in? Okay, there it goes. Oh, okay. Oh, we're at 2%. It's excited. Okay. Extension cord. Do you need a thing? I need a prong adapter. Wait, no, I don't. Randy, I'm good. Uh, you okay, Yasmin? Uh, yeah. You just sighed great big, like, why did I move in here? You can work on me. Okay. Too old for this shit. Disaster averted, kind of, maybe. No, it's, I don't like drawing okay. very much. Oh, my heart's pounding. <laughs> Ooh, put sweet potato fries. <laughs> Do what? Someone had asked, how does it feel to have such an older audience? It's awesome. I don't know, because we've got some folks in here who hang out with us. Who? No, it's at 1%. Why are you slow? I'm going to turn the brightness way super down. Oh no, guys, oh, no. if I go LD, I'll try to come back, but I'm, it's getting dark. It's fading. No. <laughs> Seriously, it says we're at 1%. Please charge. Can I close all other apps? Maybe if I just don't look at the phone. Do what? I can't see. The screen's too dark. <laughs> no, seriously. Um, what are you doing? What are you doing about Yeah, it's got the little charger thing. <laughs> Derpy's like, no, I can see the light. Yeah, it says live. Just stop. I can't stop touching it. Yes, you can. Dark, it's the afternoon. <laughs> no. Hey. What? Stop it. No, I gotta keep touching it. <gasps> no, it died. See? And that's how you signed off. 